Genetic linkage is the tendency of alleles that are located close together on a chromosome to be inherited together during the meiosis phase of sexual reproduction. Genes whose loci are nearer to each other are less likely to be separated onto different chromatrids during chromosomal crossover, and are therefore said to be genetically linked. In other words, the nearer two genes are on a chromosome, the lower is the chance of a swap occurring between them, and the more likely they are to be inherited together. Discovery Genetic linkage was first discovered by the British geneticists William Bateson, Edith Rebecca Saunders and Reginald Punnett shortly after Mendel's laws were rediscovered. The understanding of genetic linkage was expanded by the work of Thomas Hunt Morgan. Morgan's observation that the amount of crossing over between linked genes differs led to the idea that crossover frequency might indicate the distance separating genes on the chromosome. Alfred Stershavent, a student of Morgan's, first developed genetic maps, also known as linkage maps. Stershavent proposed that the greater the distance between linked genes, the greater the chance that non-sister chromatrids would cross over in the region between the genes. By working out the number of recombinants it is possible to obtain a measure for the distance between the genes. This distance is expressed in terms of a genetic map unit, or a centimorgan and is defined as the distance between genes for which one product of meiosis in 100 is recombinant. A recombinant frequency of 1% is equivalent to 1 meter U, but this equivalence is only a good approximation for small percentages. The largest percentage of recombinants cannot exceed 50% which would be the situation where the two genes are at the extreme opposite ends of the same chromosomes. In this situation, any crossover events would result in an exchange of genes, but only an odd number of crossover events would result in a recombinant product of meiotic crossover. A statistical interpretation of this is through the Haldane mapping function or the Kasambi mapping function, among others. A linkage map is created by finding the map distances between a number of traits that are present on the same chromosome, ideally avoiding having significant gaps between traits to avoid the inaccuracies that will occur due to the possibility of multiple recombination events. Linkage map A linkage map is a genetic map of a species or experimental population that shows the position of its known genes or genetic markers relative to each other in terms of recombination frequency, rather than a specific physical distance along each chromosome. Linkage mapping is critical for identifying the location of genes that cause genetic diseases. A genetic map is a map based on the frequencies of recombination between markers during crossover of homologous chromosomes. The greater the frequency of recombination between two genetic markers, the further apart they are assumed to be. Conversely, the lower the frequency of recombination between the markers, the smaller the physical distance between them. Historically, the markers originally used were detectable phenotypes derived from coding DNA sequences, eventually confirmed or assumed non-coding DNA sequences such as microsatellites or those generating restriction fragment length polymorphisms have been used. Genetic maps help researchers to locate other markers, such as other genes by testing for genetic linkage of the already known markers. A genetic map is not a physical map or gene map. Parametric and non-parametric linkage analysis Linkage analysis may be either parametric or non-parametric. Parametric linkage analysis is the traditional approach, whereby the probability that a gene important for a disease is linked to a genetic marker is studied through the LOD score, which assesses the probability that a given pedigree, where the disease and the marker are co-segregating, is due to the existence of linkage or to chance. Non-parametric linkage analysis, in turn, studies the probability of an allele being identical by descent with itself. Parametric linkage analysis The LOD score of odds, developed by Newton E. Morton, is a statistical test often used for linkage analysis in human, animal, and plant populations. The LOD score compares the likelihood of obtaining the test data if the two loci are indeed linked. 
to the likelihood of observing the same data purely by chance. Positive LOD scores favor the presence of linkage, whereas negative LOD scores indicate that linkage is less likely. Computerized LOD score analysis is a simple way to analyze complex family pedigrees in order to determine the linkage between Mendelian traits. The method is described in greater detail by Strachan and Reed. Briefly, it works as follows. Establish a pedigree. Make a number of estimates of recombination frequency. Calculate a LOD score for each estimate. The estimate with the highest LOD score will be considered the best estimate. The LOD score is calculated as follows. Near denotes the number of non-recombinant offspring, and R denotes the number of recombinant offspring. The reason 0.5 is used in the denominator is that any alleles that are completely unlinked have a 50% chance of recombination, due to independent assortment. Theta is the recombinant fraction, i.e., the fraction of births in which recombination has happened between the study genetic marker and the putative gene associated with the disease. Thus, it is equal to a, by convention, a LOD score greater than 3.0 is considered evidence for linkage, as it indicates 1,000 to 1 odds that the linkage being observed did not occur by chance. On the other hand, a LOD score less than minus 2.0 is considered evidence to exclude linkage, although it is very unlikely that a LOD score of 3 would be obtained from a single pedigree. The mathematical properties of the test allow data from a number of pedigrees to be combined by summing their LOD scores. However, this traditional cutoff of LOD score greater than plus 3 is arbitrary, and in certain types of linkage studies, such as analyses of complex genetic traits with hundreds of markers, this criterion should probably be modified to a higher cutoff. Recombination frequency Recombination frequency is a measure of genetic linkage and is used in the creation of a genetic linkage map. Recombination frequency is the frequency with which a single chromosomal crossover will take place between two genes during meiosis. A centimorgan is a unit that describes a recombination frequency of 1%. In this way we can measure the genetic distance between two loci, based upon their recombination frequency. This is a good estimate of the real distance. Double crossovers would turn into no recombination. In this case we cannot tell if crossovers took place. If the loci we're analyzing are very close a double crossover is very unlikely. When distances become higher, the likelihood of a double crossover increases. As the likelihood of a double crossover increases, we systematically underestimate the genetic distance between two loci. This is stated in Mendel's second law and is known as the law of independent assortment. The law of independent assortment always holds true for genes that are located on different chromosomes. But for genes that are on the same chromosome, it does not always hold true. As an example of independent assortment, consider the crossing of the purebred homozygote parental strain with genotype AABB with a different purebred strain with genotype AABB. A and A and B and B represent the alleles of genes A and B. Crossing these homozygous parental strains will result in F1 generation offspring that are double heterozygotes with genotype AABB. The F1 offspring AABB produces gametes that are AB, 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 and AB with equal frequencies because the alleles of gene A are sought independently of the alleles for gene B during meiosis. Note that two of the four gametes, AB and AB, were not present in the parental generation. These gametes represent recombinant gametes. Recombinant gametes are those gametes that differ from both of the haploid gametes that made up to the original diploid cell. In this example, the recombination frequency is 50% since two of the four gametes were recombinant gametes. This is a consequence of independent assortment. When two genes are close together on the same chromosome, they do not assort independently and are said to be linked. Whereas genes located on different chromosomes assort independently and have a recombination frequency of 50%, linked genes have a recombination frequency that is less than 50%.
As an example of linkage, consider the classic experiment by William Bateson and Reginald Punnett. They were interested in trait inheritance in the sweet pea and were studying two genes, the gene for flower color and the gene affecting the shape of pollen grains. They crossed the pure lines PPLL and PPLL and then self-crossed the resulting PPLL lines. According to Mendelian genetics, the expected phenotypes would occur in a 9-3-3-1 ratio of place, 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 place. To their surprise, they observed an increased frequency of place and place and a decreased frequency of place and place. Their experiment revealed linkage between the P and L alleles and the P and L alleles. The frequency of P occurring together with L and with P occurring together with L is greater than that of the recombinant place and place. The recombination frequency is more difficult to compute in an F2 cross than a back cross. But the lack of fit between observed and expected numbers of progeny in the above table indicate it is less than 50%. The progeny in this case received two dominant alleles linked on one chromosome. However, after crossover, some progeny could have received one parental chromosome with a dominant allele for one trait linked to a recessive allele for a second trait with the opposite being true for the other parental chromosome. This is referred to as repulsion or a trans arrangement. The phenotype here would still be purple and long but a test cross of this individual with the recessive parent would produce progeny with much greater proportion of the two crossover phenotypes. While such a problem may not seem likely from this example, unfavorable repulsion linkages do appear when breeding for disease resistance in some crops. The two possible arrangements, CIs and trans, of alleles in a double heterozygote are referred to as gametic phases, and phasing is the process of determining which of the two is present in a given individual. When two genes are located on the same chromosome, the chance of a crossover producing recombination between the genes is related to the distance between the two genes. Thus, the use of recombination frequencies has been used to develop linkage maps or genetic maps. However, it is important to note that recombination frequency tends to underestimate the distance between two linked genes. This is because as the two genes are located farther apart, the chance of double or even number of crossovers between them also increases. Double or even number of crossovers between the two genes results in them being co-segregated to the same gamete, yielding a parental progeny instead of the expected recombinant progeny. As mentioned above, the Cosambi and Haldane transformations attempt to correct for multiple crossovers. Variation of recombination frequency While recombination of chromosomes is an essential process during meiosis, there is a large range of frequency of crossovers across organisms and within species. Sexually dimorphic rates of recombination are termed heterochiasmide and are observed more often than a common rate between male and females. In mammals, females often have a higher rate of recombination compared to males. It is theorized that there are unique selections acting or meiotic drivers which influence the difference in rates. The difference in rates may also reflect the vastly different environments and conditions of meiosis in oogenesis and spermatogenesis. Meiosis indicators, with very large pedigrees or with very dense genetic marked data, such as from whole genome sequencing, it is possible to precisely locate recombinations. With this type of genetic analysis, a meiosis indicator is assigned to each position of the genome for each meiosis in a pedigree. The indicator indicates which copy of the parental chromosome contributes to the transmitter gamete at that position. For example, if the allele from the first copy of the parental chromosome is transmitted, a 0 might be assigned to that meiosis. If the allele from the second copy of the parental chromosome is transmitted, a 1 would be assigned to that meiosis. The two alleles in the parent came, one each, from two grandparents. These indicators are then used to determine identical by descent states or inheritance states, which are in turn used to identify genes responsible for diseases.